Hey everybody, Graham here. Here are six things that can ruin your car. I'm driving a 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Model Touring Edition with a six-speed manual transmission. And here are six things that you might be doing that could damage your new car. Guys, don't push this car hard until you've had time for the engine to warm up properly. It's a tiny little 1.5 liter engine, so it takes a lot longer to warm up than a bigger engine would traditionally. That turbocharger is gonna be spinning up to 100,000 RPMs, guys. That's very fast, and it's using the engine oil as this lubricant. So you have to make sure that engine oil gets up to the operating temperature before you push that turbocharger to its limit. So keep an eye on that temperature gauge, guys. Don't floor it until the engine has had a chance to warm up properly. It's a small engine, it takes a little longer. Just wait for it, it's gonna be worth it. Don't lug the engine. I mean it, don't lug this thing. This little turbocharged 1.5 liter engine is a blast to drive. It's got a ton of power. When you get that turbocharger activated and the boost builds up pressure, it's a lot of fun, it really pulls forward. But you gotta make sure that you get there in the right way. Let me explain. So what is lugging the engine? Lugging the engine is when you apply too much throttle relative to the engine speed. If your engine is spinning at less than 2,500 RPMs, it's not spinning fast enough for you to drop the gas pedal down to the floor. If you want more power out of your engine by stepping on the accelerator pedal, your engine needs to be working at optimal efficiency. And that's only gonna happen at higher RPMs, about 2,500, 3,000 RPMs or even higher. So if you're looking to get maximum power, try and bring the engine RPM up higher. If you're in an automatic transmission, apply the throttle slowly, not drop it to the floor. And if you're in a manual transmission, drop a gear. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is your accelerator pedal goes down and it tells the engine control system that it needs to put more air and fuel into your engine. But because your engine isn't spinning fast enough, it only gets more fuel. It doesn't necessarily get more air. And guys, this can be really dangerous for several reasons. Number one, you'll, you expose yourself to the possibility of pre-ignition. This means that you have too rich of a fuel mixture in your cylinder and the, the air fuel mixture, it might detonate before the spark plug ignites and intends to detonate it. And what that means is uh, you might get an explosion happening at the wrong time in your engine and you're gonna get engine knock. This can do all sorts of damage, including uh, rubbing the, the pistons up against the cylinder walls. You can bend or break valves. You can damage your seals. There's all sorts of damage that can occur. The other reason why this is a bad thing is your engine might have trouble burning all of the fuel during the ignition part of the cycle. And what that means is you might have uncombusted fuel going into the exhaust system. Now, where does that exhaust system go? It goes into your turbocharger. Your turbocharger uses the exhaust gases in order to propel the um, compressor and build boost pressure. And if you have uncombusted fuel in your turbocharger spinning at a very high RPM with a lot of heat and pressure, guys, that is a recipe for disaster. That's why it's super important in a turbocharged vehicle like this Honda Civic here, that you do not lug your engine. Three. This one is cheap. This one's pretty good. This one is even better. Okay guys, when choosing what gas to use, I know it costs a little bit more, always use the good stuff. Never, 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 never use the cheap stuff. Okay guys, there's a reason why you need good gas in your turbocharged engine. High boost pressure means pre-ignition if you use cheap gas. You don't want engine knock, that's gonna destroy your engine from the inside. Just pay up, get the good stuff. It's like insurance for your car. Now for those of you that bought a Honda Civic with an automatic transmission, I don't know why you would, but if you did, pay attention, this one's for you. Okay guys, this one's important. Don't use park to hold your car up on a hill. Use the parking brake every single time. If you use park in your automatic transmission to hold you up, what you're doing is this. One little tooth goes in and holds a planetary gear in your transmission and the entire weight of the vehicle is held up on that tooth with that gear. That's a lot of stress for a little tiny component very deep inside of your transmission. You don't want that part to fail. Every time you shift out when it's time to go, you're putting a whole lot of pressure and stress on that part of your transmission. Don't do it because if it goes bad, you're gonna have to take that transmission off in order to repair it. It's a very expensive repair, guys. 
So the solution is simple. Use the parking brake every single time you park on a hill. It's good for a manual too, but especially in an automatic. Five. Washing your car. Okay guys, we all know washing your vehicle is a very important part of taking care of your vehicle. This is dishwasher detergent. It's really good for washing dishes. It's also lemon scented. This is really good for washing cars. Let me explain. Dishwashing soap and detergent is a degreaser. It removes wax, oil, and food from your dishes, but it's not so good for your car. Your vehicle actually needs a light coating of wax in order to protect the paint, guys. You're gonna be impacting at high speeds, pollen, dust, tiny little rocks, all sorts of contaminants, bugs, you name it. And you do not want those impacting directly on the clear coat of your paint. You want to have a wax finish. Now you can wax your vehicle, that's fine. If you're gonna use the dishwashing detergent, you have to wax your vehicle after. Me, I don't have that kind of time. I got a wife and kids and lots of stuff to do. So I use a car washing detergent that's gonna provide the right lubrication as well as a waxy finish once I'm done. That means when I rinse it off, it's gonna leave a small coating of wax on both the windows and on the paint, which is totally fine. And that's gonna to help to protect it as well. This is gonna have a higher lubricating factor than dish soap. You need that lubricating factor because you are gonna be scrubbing the road grime, dust, bugs, rocks, debris, whatever it is that's stuck to your car, as you're trying to remove it, you're probably gonna be scrubbing it. And the more lubrication you can have, the better. Okay guys, this is a big one. This is really, really big. Remember that movie in Gremlins where there are three rules, but that third one is really the doozy. No matter what, don't do this thing. This is that rule. And I didn't follow it and it damaged my car. Don't ever let your wife drive the car. Look at this. Look at this. So here's some good advice for you. A smart man will learn from his mistakes. A wise man will learn from the mistakes of others. Guys, don't let your wife drive the car, especially if she's gonna have to park it. Okay guys, so that's the video. I guess I'm gonna have to do another video shortly about how to fix a curbed wheel. Um, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget, write a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future.